What is up everyone? Xander here and today I'm here with a new or possibly old modder kick. This was sent to me by uh, a friend of mine on kick and it's called Enigma. Um, I don't know anything about this kick. I don't know if it's using the current version of kick or like an old version of kick, but we will figure that out in a second. So this is the uh, this is the main sign in sign up screen. I like it too. It, it's kind of it's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I like the uh, the leaf icon and stuff. Uh, it says made with love by the Pi team. Um, all right, so I'm gonna register, make a fake account and all that shit, and I'll see you guys when I'm in there. And of course, this one has a stupid calendar. Fuck, man, this shit is annoying. Um, this might be a sign that this is using an old version of Cake, but I'm not sure. We will see. Alright, so it seems that I found a very serious bug. So, turns out that when you choose a date, like for example, August 11th, and then you press OK, it crashes. And this happens every single time, too. So, uh, if you're looking to make a new account on this kick, you're probably gonna have to make one on a different kick, or maybe even the stock vanilla kick, and then log in from here. So I'm going to log into another account. Alright, so I had to sign into my bot account. Unfortunately. But it's whatever. See, these are all the groups I'm in. Um, but anyway, this is Enigma. Uh, pretty nice theme. It's not, like, pitch black. Like, it's not AMOLED background, but it's, it's a really dark black, dark gray or something. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's red. Um, it's clearly still has the pie kick icon. So... Um, I figured it would have, like, the leaf or something. I don't know. But, yeah, it's, it still has a pie kick icon, so. But anyway, you guys are here for the mods. So let's see what mods they have. Well, first of all, they have an update button. And there's an update. Would you look at that? All right, I'm going to see what this update's all about. And I'll get back to you guys in a second. Never mind, doesn't work. If you press, if you try to update, it says that, so. I'm stuck in this one. So let's look at the Enigma team. All right, so... Shout out to Jay White. I've heard that name before. Way I have heard that name before. I've heard that name being talked about. Oh, from Crykick, the Crykick uh, group. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've seen that name being mentioned in the Pykick group. I'm not even sure. I'm pretty sure the guy himself is in that group too. So I don't know. But yeah, Jay White. Shout out to that guy. Um, all right. So let's look at the mods themselves. So we got square pictures, marquee names. I dividers, custom hint, all your basic customization options in terms of bubbles and text and all that jazz. Um, then we got the themes, theme colors, shit ton of theme colors. Um, we got backgrounds. Uh, let's see, we got fake camera, no save, auto loop, auto mute, auto play, no forward, all timestamps. Timestamps. Um, of course, we got the read receipts. We got no, we got no pull, open tray, anti loggers enabling, use browser private mode, do not disturb. And we got a bot. So, there's we got bot commands, OP system, anti-spam. I'm going to turn that off because I'm in some groups. Um, but anyway, the OP system I have not seen in a while. I haven't seen it since probably Crykick 2. Either that one or Matrix those two had it so you can clear all chats and you can clear only pics and vids that's pretty cool uh, we got auto read auto reply auto reply in groups and then AI oh that's cool so it auto replies like a real human apparently I don't know what that exactly I don't know exactly what that means but I guess we'll turn it on and see what what happens we got all smileys and all ghost all motor content all and ghost emoticon so let's see what emoticon content has all right, so let's see what emoticon content has. Oh my lord. Okay, then. Literally nothing. Almost nothing. I don't even know what pack these come from, but... Garbage. Oh no. That is not good. I don't even know how old this kick is, but somebody sent me this saying I should review it. Oh, okay. So, um, I'm assuming this has commands then. Whoops. Cut. Well, hello. Oh, that's one. That's the auto reply thing. Okay. C 
commands. So there we go. Yeah, whatever. Um, but anyway, these are the default commands. And then you can have custom commands, special commands, and fonts. So there's that. Then we got bot commands. Bot, I think. No, it's not it. Bot help. Yeah, there you go. So these are the bot commands. Um, that's inappropriate. Okay. To promote. Alright, so this is the OP system, which we haven't seen in a long time. Um, I'm not even sure if it still works correctly, but it basically, it's similar to um, what kick the actual kick devs did with the the owner the owner owner of the group, and then it has like sub admins or whatever. It's kind of like that basically. Um, but this was made. This OP system was made before that was even made, so it predates it. Anyway, so we got the bot commands. So let's look at bot comms. Um, okay, so it has the the games, the games, right? Okay, oh my god, this guy needs Alright, I'm gonna turn that off. So we got the games in this spot, which is cool. So it has the type game, the brick game. That's about it. And then the status command. And what that does is it checks the status of the group. Like, what OPs... Like, what you have for OPs and stuff. So I think that's it in terms of this kick. In my opinion, it's very disappointing. Um, but then again, it's probably a really old one in the first place. But I wouldn't know. I would not... Definitely not recommend this kick. At all. No way. Mainly because... A lot of people use a lot of people use modded kicks to get all the emoticons. Either that or you know read receipts. They don't really care all that much about the other mods. It's generally just like the emoticons and the read receipts and all that stuff. Um, and this one lacks pretty much almost all the emoticons. So definitely not recommended if you're looking to get all emoticons. Um, it has a cool theme though. I mean black and red. What can you you can't go wrong with that that combination. Um, but besides that, not v recommended at all so um i guess this is the part where i do the pros and cons again so let's see pros it has a bot that's a pro like it has like a, a modded kick bot not like a public bot it doesn't have any of the we'll get to the I'll, I'll, I'll mention that when we get to the cons basically it has the modded kick bot it has a cool theme it's commonly used i'm pretty sure links used the theme. pretty links did use this color scheme um their color scheme is usually red and either white or black so yeah it has a lot of uh mods like it has all the mods you could probably you could possibly think of basically for any mod to kick it has all of them basically um what else that's pretty much it uh it has the browser i mean that's cool i guess the new modern kicks i mean the new kicks don't have that because kick basically removed this thing i'm pretty sure you can access this some other way but it's actually right here this time, so yeah. Um, but I think that's it in terms of pros. Not looking too good. Alright, so for cons. It's using an outdated version of Kick, therefore it doesn't have GIFs, stickers, or public bots. Um, it lacks basically almost all smileys. It has a, it has like one pack and that's it. The, the check for update button doesn't work, I guess that's a con. Oh, and the bug for when you're registering uh, for an account on this Kick. When you choose a date on the on the register screen, it crashes. So there's that. Stop messaging me. Anyway, stop. Anyway, that's basically it. It's not very good of a kick. I mean, maybe back then it would have been all right, but at this day and age, it ain't cutting it. So yeah, uh, my final rating for this kick is going to be a three out of ten, because you know for the most part it's very garbage. It doesn't meet the standards of today's modded kicks, even though t most of today's modded kicks are just rethemes, so they don't really meet the standards of any modded kicks either. But I'm basically comparing this kick to like Link's Bliss because that's still a, that's still basically the best modded kick out right now. So for now, I'm just going to be basically just going to be uh, comparing any kick I review to that kick. But it does beat Link's Bliss in terms of the fact that it has you know more customization options. For example, marquee, square, um, icons, and all that stuff, and the bubble colors, bubble and the fonts. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe for more. Also, check out my Chiptune channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.